how to create YouTube short videos easily from widescreen clips using auto reframe. Hello, I'm John and this is Fun with Film Order. Lights, camera, action! Let's have some fun. I have a comment from one of my subscribers, Sol Solarium, who states, I have some widescreen media files that I want to convert and upload as shorts. Any suggestions would be highly appreciated. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to create a tutorial on the best way to create YouTube shorts in portrait mode from pre-recorded or videos you may already have in widescreen format. Let's jump in. Okay, the first way we're going to create YouTube shorts from widescreen footage is with Filmora's brilliant auto reframe feature. Let me show you how that works. So on the startup window, we have auto reframe there. Click on that. That opens the auto reframe window. We need to import the footage that has already been pre-recorded in widescreen. I'll use this one here called Joggers. Now, if you just play that clip, you can see the subjects, the joggers are actually moving from left to right, up and down and all over the screen. And that would be hard to create a single YouTube short from that without having to do a lot of work. Let's put that back to the beginning. If we click on analyze, it will take a minute or two to convert the video and then it will start the auto reframe feature, which you will see working and what it does is it tries to imagine what you'd like to see within that portrait view and creates a video from it. It's amazing. But the other thing we can do, actually, let's just play that back first. So this is what it's done automatically. You can see it's starting to follow some of the subjects as they move across the screen. But we may not want that. We may just want to follow one of the subjects so let's just play it until we get to that part and we will follow this lady in green here so pause the video move the frame across skip a few frames forward do the same again move it across so she's in the center and you keep doing this throughout the video i'll speed this up so it's not boring but you will see what i'm doing even though it's speeded up a bit and i'll show you the final results at the end. Okay, I'll do one last center shot with just the lady in green in, and now I'll just let it play out itself, and it'll move across to the two people and keep them in the center. So now that I've put those points in, as you can see along the line there, let's just play that back and see what happens now. As you can see, it's just keeping the lady in green in the center. That's a great feature, brilliant and so easy to use on widescreen footage for YouTube shorts. So well done film order on that one. You can see up on the top right there's some settings here. Adjust frame which obviously has to be on. The aspect ratio is 9 by 16 which is a portrait ideal for YouTube shorts. And motion speed, I never play around with that, I always leave it on auto and it seems to do a good job. Once you're happy with what you've got, you can click on export, choose the name of the footage. I'll call it Joggers Demo. That'll take a second to export. And then it will open the screen, showing you where it's exported to. Now this is the one that I've just done, Joggers Demo. I did a couple of previous ones earlier as a test. Now if we play that, You can see it's done exactly what we wanted to do. It's kept the lady in green in the center. So there's your YouTube short all ready, waiting to go. So let's just close that down now and close that. And we'll close that as well. Yes, I want to exit. Now I'm going to create a new project. So go to file. 9 by 16 portrait that's what we want we can check our project settings here as well 9 by 16 1080 by 1920 
and that's HD or you can go up to 4K 2160 by 3840 I'm going to keep it on HD at the moment you can leave it at 25 frames per second if you wish or again change that 25 is ample for shorts and always leave it on SDR you don't require the other two unless you're actually recording in HDR so SDR is fine click on OK and now I'm using Film Order 12 and I highly recommend to download Film Order 12 especially now that it's a free upgrade because you get to choose your layouts at the moment we're looking at a widescreen layout but we want to create a portrait YouTube short so let's go up to our layout section and choose the short video and you can see there the resolution is still 1080 by 1920 and 25 frames per second let's just import the footage we've created if I can find it of course okay joggers demo click open drag that onto the first track we'll keep the project settings and you can see when we play that that fits in perfectly into a YouTube short portrait style view so that's the best and easiest way to create your videos from widescreen and to convert them into YouTube short style portrait videos on the subject of YouTube shorts while I think they're a great idea and I enjoy doing them myself there are some great little YouTube short videos out there and there are some that I think don't look quite right and what I mean by that is sometimes they've created a YouTube short from a widescreen video and simply just shrunk it down so it sits in the middle of the portrait screen with a black bar above and a black bar below which I think doesn't look very good but there are ways and means around that so let me show you what I've done to combat any videos you may have that may end up like that if you haven't already downloaded Filmora you can do so for free by clicking on the link in the description so why not give it a go okay so once you've created a new project and your project settings are set for a YouTube short ie 9x16 portrait 1080x920 and whatever frame, frame rate you want 25 FPS is fine so what I've done instead of using other people's footage to show you how bad shorts can look is I've actually created demonstration ones for you to view and show you exactly what they turn out like if not done properly let me show you so I've got a couple that I actually created earlier and I class this one as a bad YouTube short video let me just play it for you I'll just drag me out the way now as you can see that looks fine on this size screen and this size window but imagine that there is your mobile screen you've got a black bar above a black bar below and it's a widescreen video with very small text you wouldn't be able to read that on a mobile so that's not that good I don't think that's a good layout at all the other one let me just delete that it's the same video and I'll just play that for you as you can see the same video but what's happened there is they've imported it they've tried to scale it up so it fills more of the screen but haven't centered it so the actual subject in this case the beard is off to the left you can't see it all although the text looks a bit better but you still have the black screens above and below which I don't think is a great a great look for it to be honest so let me show you what you can do if you have widescreen footage and you need to put it into a portrait view okay I've got some footage that I saved earlier from the stock media so it's available through Filmora and it's um, free footage not paid so I'm just going to go to my global media and sample videos these are the ones that I've saved from uh, the stock media I'll I'll use this fish one I'll drag it onto the timeline and as you can see that looks a nice little video on the right hand side but again there's black bars above and below there's no text 
and say you wanted to keep all of that video in view and not lose any of the sides, what you can do, which again is another great feature of Filmora, is, just get that back to the start, go to Effects, make sure you're searching on Free, and search for Blair, B-L-U-R. Now you can see that the first few that come up have lines on either side and what that does in fact let me just drag one down what's a good one to use basic players are good and I've used that and as you can see it's in my favorites because I've actually clicked on the star there what you do is you drag it above your footage and I'll make it the same length as my video clip and it puts a nice little effect above and below the video takes away that black we've got a couple of black bars there on either side so let me just pause that I'm going to resize the original video simply by clicking on it and then either dragging the handles or using the scale on the left hand side I'm just going to drag the two scale lines it's locked so both X and Y will drag at the same time I'll get rid of those black lines and you can actually make that footage full screen if you want to fit the full screen Again, you can move it left and right, right by simply dragging or utilizing the Y axis, sorry, utilizing the X axis, <laughs> the Y axis, apologies there, to get a nice shot that you want. Okay, let's go back to the start of the video, see what that looks like. See, that looks nice. And because the quality of the video is quite good, by increasing the scale, it hasn't done any harm to the quality at all. It looks really nice. And again, you can play around with this. You can actually drag the video up, down, across until you're happy with one of the views. Let's have a look what it looks on the, looks like on this side. Put that in frame. Okay, click play. Yeah, that's quite nice. So that's a good way of doing it. So let me just undo most of that by pressing Control Z. And I'm just going through all the things that I've done so far. Control Z takes it back one step at a time. Okay, I'll just resize it back to the screen to get rid of the black bars. And let's try some of the other blare effects. Um, let's have a look at, we'll get rid of the basic blare. Put it back to the beginning. And let's have a look at grey. Hmm, looks a bit strange, we'll play that. No, don't like that one. You may, and it may work well in other videos, but not for this one. Diamonds, let's have a look at that effect. That's not too bad. Um, not my style, but, you know, it's better than having two black bars. It looks much nicer. And don't forget, you can always drag it to the length of your clip so it runs the full length of your video. Okay, let's also have a look at... Um, what's another nice one? Slant Blair. That sounds interesting. Okay. And again, we'll drag it the full length of the video. It's not too bad. But again, if there's so much going on in the video, I think with this type of video, plenty of fish swimming around, I think the basic Blair is probably the best. It doesn't distract you from actually watching the video. And then once again, once you've got your video, what you can do is add text to it. And the beauty about this is, if you have blank space above and below, you can add text there. So let me just add a standard title above. Make that the same width. Okay, we'll change the text to just say, this is a demo video I'll move it up by clicking and holding and I'll change the font itself to audio wide regular and I'll change the size there's two ways of changing the size of the font you can actually change it here by increasing or decreasing but what I like to do is give you a better control over the size in the screen is by clicking and dragging the handles and you're basically doing the same thing, increasing the font, but you get better control over it. So the font is now 68. 
So as you can see now, you've got a nice little video, YouTube short, text, and a little video underneath. And again, as we did before, we can increase the size of this to fill the screen, top and bottom, and the text stays in quite nice. So let's just replay that again, take it back to the start and play it again. That's a nice little video. <laughs> I might use that. <laughs> but no, you understand what I mean. There is quite a few times when you can get away with using a widescreen video. Sometimes you can't. It depends on the subject and how how much you want of the whole of the widescreen of the video. Obviously, you can only get what is in the center. For example, let me show you one. Let's delete all of them. And we'll actually use the footage that we used before of the girls running. I've like got there. Now, if I was to do that full screen, and play it, doesn't look too bad, but see there, blank space. And to get it to do what the auto reframe did initially, you'd have to do all sorts of keyframes and it would take quite a long time how quick and easy was that auto reframe so if you can use auto reframe use it that's my advice well i hope you enjoyed that tutorial and if there's a tutorial that you'd like me to do for you please let me know in the comments below and i'll see what i can do don't forget to like subscribe and click on the notification bell i really would appreciate it thanks for watching now go have some fun